Hello everyone! What I have here is a Falker bundle and I have loaded a few sections with uh, person's modules. Uh, what I want to show you here is how to customize these modules, specifically this time I want to show you how you can change the color of this line that appears on hover. You can see that uh, these animated lines on each person's modules. So I just randomly loaded a few of them to show you on an example how you can change it. For that we are going to be using master CSS file and let me first show you how you can open master CSS file then I'm going to explain you what it is and how you can use it if you don't know. Uh, you want to go to settings page and then Falker assistant page. Here you'll see open master CSS changer file button. Click that and all the CSS code will open in a new window. Copy everything and paste it back in your text editor. Uh, I use Notepad++ as my text editor. It's a free and rich text editor you can use and I highly recommend it. But you can use any other text editing software of your choice. Uh, when you open these documents you're going to notice that it's really well commented. Comments are these texts in green and they serve you as instructions so you can easily find what you're looking for. This time we are interested in the changing color of the lines so we are looking for the comment that indicates where the lines CSS is and if you read this comment here it says background color for animated lines and that's exactly what we're looking for. And here we have two CSS blocks. First one is to change the background color of the lines and the other one is to change the border color. Uh, not to confuse you this time but sometimes we create lines as individual elements and that's where you want to change the background color of it. Sometimes we create these lines as a border of existing elements and that's when you want to change the border color of it. However, this time we are going to be using both of these blocks and what you want to do is to simply change the values uh, of the colors to something else. I'm going just uh, to use green this time and what you want to do when you make the updates is to copy uh, that CSS. Then just go back to the page, click page settings and inside custom CSS box paste this CSS, uh, click save and update the page. And let's now preview and as you can see the lines turn green in this module, that's good, that did the trick. Uh, let's see the next one, here you can see that the lines have changed the color as well and this line has changed too. Of course text is still blue but uh, that's something uh, you can do from module settings if you go to design tab there you'll find text color options uh, this time our focus is just on the lines and alright in this module you can see that top uh, line has turned green but this one under job title uh, has not what you want to do in these situations is you want to go back to master CSS file uh, here open find box by pressing ctrl plus F on your keyboard and uh, we want to update person modules so you want to look for person modules comment because as already explained of course all the CSS code under this comment it relates to this specific module this this in this example person module we want to update the border color so uh, checking quickly on this CSS we can see that uh, this line here uh, sets the color so uh, we are interested into updating only this block of CSS here that I just selected. So again just change the color, copy the code, go back to the page and paste uh, this CSS in custom CSS box under the CSS we previously have added, click save and update the page. Let's see if that did the trick when we update the page and yes as you can see this line here is updated now as well. And that's it for this tutorial, thanks for watching.